Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to solve the Apache test page problem. One thing you should know that getting the Apache test page is actually not an error, but it means that you've configured everything properly and traffic is going to your EC2 instance. The only thing is the problem is probably with your web files. You probably have your web files in the wrong location, but we are going to cover that. So I have my notes here and just before we start, there are a couple of things we need to make sure. I'm not going to cover this in this tutorial, but I'm just going to point at them. The first thing is we need to make sure that our web file is working. So what I mean by that is my web files are located in this folder. When I click on that folder, you can see all the files that are associated with this HTML files in here. And when I click this HTML file, you can see that my website is working. So that's the first step. Just make sure that your file is good to go and everything is working on it. That's the first step. So I'm just going to close this. And the second step is we are going to make sure we have security groups. We covered this in the last tutorial. So I'm going to select EC2 and come to the left side, select security group. And I've created a my EC2 SG security group. And when I select it, and let me move this down a little bit. You can see the ports that I've opened, port 80, port 22, and port 443 from anywhere in the world. So normally you won't do this in production, but just for this tutorial, we've just leave it to anywhere in the world. So that's step two. Step three, make sure you have a key pair. So on this left side again, click key pairs, and I have my web key here. So that's the key pair. Step four, we are going to create a role. So on that service, Security, Identity, and Compliance, select IAM. And I have a row, select row. And under my row, I have a row called S3 full access. When I click it, under the permission, I have a Amazon S3 full access policy attached to this row. And we covered this in the last tutorial. I'm just showing you the prerequisites. And the next thing, the final thing is, we'll come to service and select S3 and I created a bucket right and upload those files into the bucket so let me move this to the side here and I'm going to click my web files so if you look at my web files you can see that they are the same exact files on my local computer uh, in my S3 bucket so once we've done that we're good to go okay I'm going to close this and I'm going to launch an EC2 instance. So go to service, select EC2, and let's launch an instance. I'm going to select the Amazon Linux AMI. And let me move this out of the way. Everything is going to be, I'm going to minimize that. Everything is going to be default. On this page, on the configuration page, on the IAM row, click the drop down and select the S3 full access and add storage and we'll go to tags go to security groups and i'm going to select my ec2 sg security group that i create that has these three ports open review and launch and i'm going to select my key pair and launch ec2 instance so we are going to wait for that to launch then we are going to try to figure out why we are getting the test page. So now our EC2 instance is running and I have my note here. So I'm just going to scroll up. Next, we are going to connect to our EC2 instance and transfer our web files into it. I'm going to use PuTTY to connect to my EC2 instance. So I'm just going to open PuTTY. And under this plus sign, I'll click Auth, Browse, and I'm going to Put in my key pair in there and move it and click OK. On that appearance, let me change my font size so you can see it. And on that session, click on session and we are going to type in EC2 hyphen user at then I will click this my EC2 instance that's running. And what I want to get is IP address, which is this. So I'll click that IP address. And paste it in here so it's ec2 iphone user at my ip address which is the public ip address for the ec2 instance i'll click open 
select yes and now I'm in the EC2 instance. First thing we are going to do is run this command sudo su. So I'm going to copy that, paste it here. So what that command does is it changes to root user. You can see first we have EC2 user, then next it changes it to root. It gives you somewhat of administrative privilege where you will be able to run all this command. Next we are going to update our EC2 instance and install all the patches. So it is yum update minus y. I'm going to leave this command in the video description. So once this is done, we are going to run the next command, which is to install the Apache web server. So once this says complete, now we want to install our Apache web server. I'll copy this command and I'll paste it in here. And now we have installed our Apache web server. If I copy this link, right, my public IP, open a new browser and paste it in there, I should get an error. See, we're getting an error. That's because we've installed the Apache web server, but we have not started. So I'm going to close this, go back to my console. And now I'm going to use this command, the service HTTPD start to start it. And I'll press enter. And you see starting HTTPD and it says, okay. Now watch what happens when I take that link again, copy the IP, open a new browser, paste it in there. Now I'm getting the Apache test page. So what you are getting is this. This is actually not an error. You did everything right. That's why you're on this page. So once you get this page, you should be proud of yourself because you've actually done most of the step and got it to this page. The next thing is we just need to figure out why it is not showing your website. So the first thing I checked is the security group. Let me go back to the EC2. Remember we create security group and now we are accessing our website from HTTP. So you can see it up here, it says HTTP and HTTP works on port 80. So what happens if we forgot to add your port 80? So let's go back to the security group. I'm going to select my security group and just to test it, the HTTP port 80. I'm going to edit my inbound rule and delete that security group and see what happens. Save. And let's go back to our EC2 again. Running EC2. And I'm going to copy my public IP address, the same one, and paste it in there and see what happens. And you see, it is just going to keep spinning and it's going to eventually give me an error. So again, I'm only showing you this to let you know that if you are seeing the Apache test page, it means that you've done everything right. You've configured your security group properly and traffic is actually getting to your web server. You can see now it's giving me an error saying site can be rich. Good. So I'm just going to go back to that security group again and add port 80 to it. So I select that security group, edit inbound rule, add rule, uh, HTTP from anywhere and click save. And now watch if I go back here and click refresh, I'm getting the test page again. So you've done everything right. The only thing that could be causing your website not to show is because when you install the Apache web server, it is going to create a directory for you, which is the, the var www.html. So let's go in that directory. I'll copy this link and paste it in here and press enter. Right. So let me just close this too. So I copied that link var www.html, paste it in here. So what CD means is look over here. We were in the home directory, which is the EC2 user directory. So that's just the folder we were in. Then we said CD var www.html. CD stands for change directory. In Linux, um, they call folder directory, just like how you have folder on your computer. In Linux, they call it directory. So we are just pretty much saying change from this folder, from this folder to this folder. So we are going into the var folder. And within the bar folder, there's a dub 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 folder. 
and there's an HTML folder. So that's the folder we are going in. And if you look down here, it is telling you the current directory that you are in. The directory is also a folder. So we are in this directory. If I type in ls to list what is in the directory, there's nothing in the directory. Okay. So now what we want to do is run this command. This command will copy the files from S3 into our EC2 instance in this directory. So what this means is in the S3, copy the file from this bucket to this directory. Okay. You understand that? So hopefully I haven't lost you to this point. So I'll click this copy and paste it in here and press enter. Right. When I now, when I press LS, you can see that I have those files in this directory. Now I have the CS file index.html, JS, and all the files that I had in my S3 bucket. And we are going to compare it later on. Now watch when I copy my EC2 IP address again and paste it in here. You can see now I'm getting my website. So if you are getting the test page, remember that's not an error. What you want to do is change directory. You see this command that we ran? Where is it? This command. Change the directory to your var.html directory. And this directory would only be available after you've install the Apache web server. Change directory to here. Type in ls to see if your web files folder are in there. You can see my SSH session and you can see all this file. Let me just open S3. I'm going to open S3 in a new tab. I'm going to open the S3 bucket. And let me now open the party session. See? CSS, CSS, HTML, HTML, JS, JS, license.txt, there, read me, there, and SCSS, there. So I have the entire files that I have on my S3, which is the same entire files I have in my local computer that I tested before I uploaded to S3 in this directory. So that's the key thing. You want to make sure you have your HTML file and all the other files that are linked to it in this directory. And once you do that, everything should work. Um, I hope I've been able to explain it in a clear way. Please let me know. And if you are more advanced and you know other ways to solve this, also please leave a comment. And thank you. And I hope this helped you. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.